So we got a request from Reese Hall for Yuxiang eggplant, as well as a couple people from Reddit asking for Yuxiang pork slivers. So we just decided to whip up both. We do a lot of recipes on this channel, but it's worth emphasizing that Chinese cuisine isn't just a collection of recipes. No matter the cuisine, to be a great cook is to move past thinking in terms of recipes and focusing instead on cooking method and flavor profile. So while the main ingredients in these two dishes couldn't be more different, the cooking method's a stir fry and the flavor profile is yuxiang. So what the yuxiang flavor profile is, is a combination of pickled chili sauce, or sometimes doubanjiang, ginger, garlic, and green onion whites, and a sweet soy vinegar sauce. Once you get the flavors down, you can make yuxiang pork, yuxiang eggplant, or yuxiang basically anything. Now, unless you happen to live in Sichuan, you're probably going to need to make your own pickled chili sauce. Dead easy, take some pickled chilies and give them a rough chop. These are Sichuan Argenkiao, which have that brilliant red color. But if you're abroad, pickled serranos should be cool too. We're going to be blending this. So to help it along, we're going to mix it with water, some baijiu or whatever liquor you got on hand, some salt and sugar, and a bit of the juice from the pickling jar. We're heating this up just to take the bite out of the baijiu and help that salt and sugar dissolve. Into a blender now, toss in your chilies together with the liquid we just made. Give it a good blitz for about a minute and you've got some pickled chili sauce for whatever yuxiang dish you want to make. We're going to start with the yuxiang pork slivers first. To make slivers, what you're going to want to do is first cut some lean pork into thin slices like this, then cut those slices into slivers. If you're not super experienced with Chinese knife work, quick word of warning that this might take a while and you might have a little wastage. Any pieces that are too ugly to make into a sliver, just give it a mince and toss it in something else. Marinate those pork slivers in the standard mix of cornstarch and salt, soy sauce, and liaojiu. Mix that up and let that marinate as we're prepping everything else. So, Yuxiang pork slivers usually also has some crunch to it. Here we're opting for Wosun, aka Seltus. Wosun has this real thick skin, so do your damnedest to peel it till it's green. Then, julienne them into strips. We really like the Wosun here, but you can also use bamboo shoots or even carrot if you're abroad. The other veg we're adding is some Hong Jiao or paprika chilies. This cultivar isn't overly spicy, so anything on the lower end of the Scoville scale should work. Get that into a julienne. Now we're going to fry the pork. As we always do on this channel, first long yao. Get that wok piping hot, shut off the flame, and swirl some oil around the wok to get a nice nonstick surface. Flame back on medium high now, toss in the pork together with its marinade. Give that a fry for about two minutes. Then, out with the pork. Next, Wosun's got to be blanched. So toss in some water in the wok and bring it up to a boil. Give them a quick blanch for like 20 seconds. Take them out and rinse under cool water. Before we stir fry, let's prep the rest of the Yuxiang ingredients. The Yuxiang aromatics are garlic, the white part of the green onion, and some minced ginger. I personally don't mince the garlic or the green onion because I kind of like munching on them, but you can mince it if you want. The Yuxiang sauce then is sugar and cornstarch, vinegar, light soy sauce, and liaojiu. Now we're ready to stir fry. First step, long yao. Adjust your oil quantity now if you need. Garlic cloves, in. Give it a quick fry and then in with the green onion whites. Mix that around and then throw in that minced ginger. Once those are fragrant, toss in the pickled chili sauce. Make sure any excess water from the sauce evaporates and then in with your chilies. Give it a fry and then in with the pork. Toss the wok to make sure all the ingredients are mixed well, then put in your sauce. This sauce is going to reduce quickly as it hits the wok. If you've been having issues making stir fries that are a bit too soupy, the reason is because your sauce isn't reducing enough here. Either up the heat or reduce it longer. Once it's at about this consistency, in with the washin. Mix that together, plate this guy up, and we are done with the Yuxiang pork slivers. So, to change this to eggplant, you really don't have to change very much. 
Yuxiang eggplant usually doesn't have any crunch, so no wuxian. But besides that, we're basically just prepping eggplant in the place of pork slivers. So take an eggplant and cut it into longer slivers. Nothing too thin though, we still need some substance here. Now add some salt to the eggplant and toss it to make sure that it's coated evenly. We're going to be deep frying this, so we need to get the moisture out of the eggplant. After a quick wilt of about 10 minutes, squeeze the eggplant slices to remove the last of the water. And just check out the quantity of water left over here. You certainly didn't want that water going into a big pot of bubbling oil. Now put in some oil, ideally a bit more than this, into a wok to deep fry. Toss in your eggplant at 170 degrees Celsius. We need to stir it a bit here, but if you're using a proper amount of oil, you won't have to. What we're doing is a technique called liao, pass through oil, which improves the texture of starchy vegetables like cauliflower, green beans, and eggplant. Take out your eggplant and move them onto paper towels to let the oil drain. Stir frying. Process is the same as before. Aromatics. In. Fry it real quick. This time we tried dobanjiang in the place of pickled chilies, so that goes in. Give that a nice mix, and then in with the chilies. Eggplant. In. And fry it. Sauce goes in, and stir it as it's quickly reducing. Plate it up, and the yuxiang eggplant is done. This flavor profile is extremely versatile, so feel free to play around with whatever main ingredients would be tasty wherever you live. As always, there will be a detailed recipe in the Reddit link in the description, and subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos. We're traveling to Yunnan, so we'll be off next week, but in two weeks' time, we'll show you guys how to make some Hakka meat-stuffed tofu.